What's up guys? I'm Chris and today you're watching a magic review on Shrapnel by Kim Anderson. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment on any questions that you have about the product I'm reviewing or anything you'd like to see in the future. Let me know your thoughts. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss a video or a review. Okay, before we get into the review, about half hour through recording this, I realized that I have been calling this safety pin a paperclip. So, you're probably going to hear me say paperclip a lot. It's not a paperclip. It is a safety pin. Let's just get that cleared up before we get into the review so that there's no confusion. These are safety pins. Safety pins. I wanted to say paperclip again. Safety pins. Shrapnel is a ring on paperclip routine that allows you to perform extremely visual penetrations, links, unlinks, and it all happens with an everyday object. Now, as you guys can see I'm actually showing you the gimmick right here there's nothing to it it's absolutely brilliant the method behind this is so clever it's made so well and I can't wait to get further into the review the price on shrapnel is $35 what do you get so this is the packaging it's they put a lot of time and effort into the packaging as you can tell which doesn't matter to some people some people appreciate it I appreciate it inside you get a magnet you get which has nothing to do with the method by the way so not exposing that but uh, you get a, a ring that you can either use for practice because this can be done with the borrowed ring but a lot of the time <clears throat> you know I'll just use the ring that's included that's what I practice with they can inspect the ring if they want you get three regular safety pins and then you get this this nice tin here to store everything inside. You also get two gimmick pins, which I'm not going to continue to show you, even though I already have shown you the gimmick pins. The quality, they're extremely well made. Now these are paper clips, so they're fragile in the sense that if you're not storing them correctly, they can bend, they may break, but as long as you're storing them correctly, using the tin and following the instructions, then there, there should be no reason that these don't last. The tutorial is two hours long. This is a download code, so you can stream it or download it, but you're getting two hours of content. Kim goes over absolutely everything. He goes over what's inside the box, how to set up the tin. He goes over some switches so that everything can be inspected. There's multiple phases in the routine that you can see in the trailer goes over all of those plus some additional handlings additional moves and then you can create your own routine so this doesn't have to be done with a ring and a paper clip but it kind of makes sense rings are everyday objects paper clips are everyday objects so you're getting a lot here you're also going to get the story behind shrapnel and you know just overall the two hours it's a lot of content uh, some, you know, I would say there's no filler. The story behind it was interesting. It doesn't have anything to do with the trick itself or the the prop itself, but, you know, there's a lot of good stuff there. And he also goes over, you know, it gives you some ideas on how, how to make this your own. Also, with the tutorial, not only does Kim go over everything in complete detail, but you get multiple angles. And then after he's explained everything, He'll go over it again by over the shoulder view and really, really break down the move so that at the end of this, you'll know exactly what you're doing. Difficulty level. Overall, in general, this is very, very easy to use and extremely visual. So, you know, the amount of skill and effort it takes to put into this is well, well, well worth it. But it, as long as you're practicing a little bit before, you're good. Like, this is very very easy to use it's been designed so so well to where this can be seen up close and 
you know, the link can happen in the spectator's hand to right in front of their face. They're not going to see anything. Um, so difficulty level, there are easy phases and then there are some more advanced but Kim goes over the more advanced ones very well and he does also explain that some of the moves one where he has a paper clip and he tosses the ring up and it links that one it's not always guaranteed right so he'll perform that one most often on video which makes sense but if you put in the time and the practice you can get this to where I'm sure it's going to be almost 100% of the time and I mean even if it doesn't link the first time that really doesn't ruin the overall effect of this. So, you know, there's there's a lot of really good things to say about this. Angles. This is angle proof, really. Unless you have somebody this far away from what you're doing, they aren't going to see anything. The gimmick is made so precise and it's so well made that the links and unlinks can happen, you know, without any cover at all and now there's nothing to be seen so whether they're whether you're completely surrounded or you know you have participants spectators from any angle you don't really don't have to worry about anything uh, there is one thing if you want to switch the like a regular paper clip with the gimmick to paper clip the way that this is set up there are some angles because you might not want anybody directly behind you but there's ways around this because you don't have to use that switch. He goes over a, a multiple switches as well as a one-handed switch. So there's so many ways that this can be done to get in and out. He also goes over cleanup so that you can end completely clean and everything can be inspected even though it already was examined in the beginning. It can also be handed out in the end after the cleanup. So <clears throat> there are ways to make the entire routine, whether it's from the initial examination to the final examination, you can make this all angle proof. Setup and reset, there really is none unless you are switching things out, which I would recommend doing. It's super easy and it just adds that next level of impossibility, also convinces your participants that everything is completely normal. Pocket space. I don't even really know what to compare this to because this isn't as big as your regular Altoids tin. This is probably the best comparison I can think of right now would be the same size as a Zippo lighter, maybe even a little bit shorter, or like a Tic Tac box. So pocket space is extremely good. This hardly takes up any room in your pocket. And if you don't use the tin, then it takes up as much space as a paper clip. Or I've been saying paper clip this whole time. Safety pin safety pin i'm not redoing this whole review safety pin anyway if you're carrying the safety pin in your pocket alone without the tin then you do risk there being damage but in the tutorial kim also goes over ways to fix a broken gimmick if it should happen is this a worker i think this is perfect for close-up routines for table hopping strolling anything like that because it's very very visual it's quick this would be a great opener and then the setup reset if you choose to set up and reset every time it doesn't take long and there are ways to to do it invisibly where you can do it right on the walk from this table to the next table or from this group to the next group so i think this is a total worker and it's also a great you know just a great piece of magic to have on you even if you just want to show somebody something casually or, or they hear that you're a magician and if you have this on you, you can do some mind-blowing magic. Who would use this? Honestly, any magician, working or not, even if you're just a, a casual hobbyist, you just enjoy learning, practicing, performing magic for friends or family, this is for you. This is a great purchase. I've heard a number of people say that this is going to be trick of the year and honestly, I believe it it's extremely good is it worth your money so $35 I'd say that this is honestly a steal two hours of content again not everybody cares about packaging but a lot of a lot of time went into this and it wouldn't have been cheap to make the packaging so nice not only the artwork in the box because that has nothing to do with it but the fact that you're provided with three safety pins a magnet which they could have made you provide yourself a ring, 
for practice or performance. Two gimmicks, not just one, but two. And then this custom tin. For $35, this is absolutely worth the price. I got nothing to say against what this cost. Pros and cons. Pros, very, very well made. You get so much for $35. You get so much with all of this. It looks great, extremely visual, perfect opener, perfect for the worker. I've went over so many positives already. Negatives, really there's nothing because the only negatives would be that they can be fragile, but if you're taking care of them and you're kind of following Kim's advice and suggestions and things in the tutorial, then you're good. If you're not, then it's on you. And if I'm not, it's on me. So I can't say that's a negative. A paperclip is a paperclip, right? Safety pin. Safety pin. Jeez. Anyway, I'm sorry for the whole paperclip thing. Safety pin. Ah. I have no other negatives. Actually, I don't have any negatives at all anyway, because everything that could be a negative is covered and eliminates any negatives, in my opinion. So check this out. It's well worth the money. I think anybody who gets this is going to be extremely happy with this. And that's really all I have to say. So we'll see you at the next review.